Hello, and welcome to the Mendez News Network. This is where you can learn the latest breaking news on Mendez versus Westminster, the little known Orange County school desegregation case that is being discovered and celebrated all across the country. I'm Sandra Roby, your resident Mendez maniac, and tonight we've got breaking news out of Los Angeles, California. Dateline, January 28, 2009. The Los Angeles Board of Education voted unanimously on Tuesday to name the first high school to be built in more than 85 years in East Los Angeles after civil rights leaders Felices and Gonzalo Mendez. Yay! The Felices and Gonzalo Mendez Learning Center is scheduled to open in fall 2009 and will be located in Boyle Heights. Way to go, Boyle Heights. Board President Monica Garcia says, Felices and Gonzalo Mendez paved the way for a more just educational system by combating segregation and discrimination. Their courage and struggle signifies the important role Latinos played in the fight for civil rights for all Americans. By naming this school after the Mendez family, we hope to preserve this legacy for future generations. The story of the Mendez's courageous fight against prejudice and segregation in public schools on behalf of their children dates back to 1943. That was the year their children were turned away from the 17th Street School in Westminster, California because they were Mexican-American. Mendez versus Westminster is a landmark desegregation case that successfully ended segregation in California and is a precursor to later court cases including Brown versus the Board of Education. Daughter of Gonzalo and Felicitas Mendez, Sandra Duran Mendez, and granddaughter Johanna Mendez Lizardo were both present at the LA Unified School District board meeting where they shed tears of joy and thanked everyone for the honor. On behalf of the Mendez family, we thank Inner City Struggle, the Boyle Heights Learning Collaborative, LA Unified School District Board President Monica Garcia, and all those that supported the naming of this school, especially the community and students. We would also like to thank and acknowledge the other families that helped win this case. Ramirez, Estrada, Palomino, and Guzman. It is important for families and students to know that we can change obstacles encountered along the way to success. Muchísimas gracias. And I also say thanks a whole lot. We are so excited to see Mendez being celebrated and honored in this way. Texas, New Mexico, Puerto Rico, are you listening? Felicias Mendez was born in Juncos. We want to see a Mendez school out there too. Arizona, New Mexico, let's see it. What can you do? What can you make happen? Send me any Mendez news that you've got if you're doing a student history project, if you are celebrating Mendez in your own way, if you're in college or university, please contact me, sandra.roby at yahoo.com. I'd love to see your stories and maybe feature you on our next edition of the Mendez News Network. Here we have pictures of our heroes, Gonzalo and Felicitas Mendez. Yay! And here we have a picture of their children with their babysitter. We've got Sylvia. And there's Jerome in front, Gonzalo Jr. in the back. Give him a round of applause. And here we got a picture of Sylvia when she was a little bit older at the piano. There she is. And you know, Sylvia, she was an eight-year-old girl who changed my life. She changed all of our lives, but I didn't get a chance to meet her until she was almost 60. And here we are back in 2007 when we traveled across country in my Mendez VW bus telling the Mendez history all across the country. We want to see you celebrating Mendez. Stay tuned. Mendez versus Westminster Network. I'm Sandra Roby. Send me your stories. Thanks. Good night.